the arrest of 60-year-old Dwayne Keith Davis, a.k.a. Keefe D, for the murder of Tupac Shakur. jump back into these news you know Keith D you know the real name Dwayne Keith Davis you know he was arrested in September but we got some big juicy news you know talking about how he's saying he's innocent Keith D requests bail you know he's saying he made up Tupac murder claims for cash and only living uh, witness Suge Knight knows the truth you know Tupac Shakur suspect Keith D has made a bid for freedom saying he made up claims about the rapper's uh, death for money and that the only living eyewitnesses and surviving victim Suge Knight knows he wasn't responsible for the murder. Now death row records boss Suge and Tupac were shot while driving in Las Vegas 27 years ago and the iconic rapper died a few days later from his injuries. You know but Keith D, the real name, like I was saying, Dwayne Davis, was arrested in September after boasting about his role in the assassination in a series of YouTube videos and a book called Compton Street Legend. Now, in a 33-page bail application obtained by the U.S. Sun, you know, Keith said he only spoke about Tupac shooting for entertainment purposes and because he saw others profiting from the case. He pointed to Suge as the person who, you know, was the guy to prove his innocence, but requesting bail to be set at approximately $100,000. Now, his lawyers said in application, the most compelling evidence that Duane was not involved in the murder of Shakur comes from the mouth of the surviving victim and only living eyewitnesses, Marion, Marion Shug Knight. Now, Knight is currently incarcerated in a California prison. Knight was interviewed over the phone by TMZ after Duane was arrested in this case. Now, during the interview, Knight was asked, they seemed to be saying that Orlando was a shooter and Keith was in on it that he had full knowledge of what was going down and was revenge for Orlando getting beat up by Tupac and his team uh, at the MGM after the Tyson fight. <laughs> and, you know, 
It wasn't Anderson, that's all I have to say about that. Keefe's lawyers argue that the two men played football together as kids and knew each other uh, very well, saying despite being the only living eyewitness and a surviving victim, the state did not have Knight testify before the grand jury. Knight's public statements have refuted Dwayne's alleged version of events as recited in the book Compton Street Legend and the YouTube interviews. Now, Knight and Dwayne grew up playing football together in Compton. They played on the same team. Knight's father and uncle were the coaches. They've known each other for approximately 50 years. Now, if Dwayne's story in the book was true, that him and Knight locked eyes before Shakur was shot, Knight would have been able to identify Dwayne and Anderson. You know, they dismissed testimony from other witnesses at the grand jury, which decided to prosecute Keith as a uh, hearsay and speculative or speculative. Now, Keefe said he only decided to write the book and give YouTube interviews after seeing that the LAPD detective grade uh, Kading, who had interviewed him about Tupac, was seemingly profiting from the situation. Now, the immunity deal, when Keefe was facing federal drug charges, a task force, which included Kading, persuaded him to admit to Tupac's murder and in return for immunity, according to the court document. Now, this taped confession was later leaked, and this task force threatened he would go to prison for life unless he admitted the involvement in Shakur's death, the bail application stated. Now, Dwayne was offered immunity in exchange for admitting to being involved in the death of Shakur. Now, information from this immunity deal was released into the public by Greg Kading. Now, Kading secretly recorded one of the interviews and went on to write a book and movie to produce uh, mensaries from the secret recording. Now, Dwayne decided to become involved with the publishing of the book Compton Street Legend and to give interviews uh, for money after watching Greg uh, Kading profit from the situation. They added, it has not been established which parts of the book, if any, Dwayne wrote. Now, Keith's lawyers have requested that he be released on house arrest with electronic monitoring until his trial. Now, he's saying he is not uh, a threat to the community. Additionally, he is not a flight risk. <laughs> but all that right there, you know, you know, Dwayne uh, Keith D, as I was saying, he incriminated himself with the books, the interviews, and all these different things. And now he's put on the spotlight. And it's kind of interesting how this is all taking uh, place and going forwards because, you know, he's pleading that he's not guilty. Um, but, you know, we'll have to see what's uh, about to happen in the upcoming trials and stuff. You know, and another thing he says, he turned his life around. They argue he turned his life around and left the drug game in 2009, got a job, and became a well-regarded member of the community. They added that he suffered from colon cancer and heart problems before he was jailed, and his health has declined since he's been behind bars due to a lack of exercise, fewer medical appointments, and unhealthy meals that barely passes food. Now, they added going on the run would be a death sentence for him. The Tupac murder trial is set to take place in June of next year of 2024. <laughs> and that right there, you know, that's some big news because, uh, as I was saying, you know, he was incriminating himself. He's trying to say he's innocent now. He's trying to say Knight and uh, Dwayne, you know, they grew up playing the football together in Compton and that they were really good friends and that they talked a lot together. And it's kind of interesting because, you know, Knight didn't want to testify in any type of way. He, he didn't want to be a part of it. And, you know, like I was saying, Knight is currently incarcerated in the California prison, but he's been going on multiple interviews. He's been talking to, on the podcast, you know, the collect calls, and he's talking about everything, but he doesn't want to try to, like, you know, help his friend out, keep D, supposedly, if that's his friend. You know, he's trying to say that he pointed to Suge as the person who could prove his innocence. But why is Suge not coming forward to prove his in innocence? You know, but those are all some questions for everybody to think about. You know, hit that like and subscribe. Let me know where you're all from. 